So what is what is me dancing to Uptown Funk by Bruno Mars have to do with my priesthood? My name is Father Darren Merlino. I'm a Claritian missionary priest from California. I was approached by the Boys and Girls Club of Prescott. One of the board members is a parishioner, and he came up to me and says, I want you to be one of the Dancing for the Stars. It was the first annual, so they asked all these high-level uh, uh, community and church leaders to be a part of this dance contest. My calling to the priesthood is very unique. I had no desire to be a priest at all. I had no, it was not a part of my vocabulary. I wanted to work in uh, media. Back then it was television and radio. I found my uh, calling from the Claritians from a Claritian that was my spiritual director, Father Robert Bishop. I was really attracted to this, to this guy, St. Anthony Claret, from his uh, autobiography. And I didn't even know why. And then, then I found out later when, the, when Father Robert Bishop asked me about joining the Claritians, I go, you know, oh yeah, St. Anthony Claret. I like that saint. I liked what's written in that in that second reading of it, and that ever since then it was like that made sense to me. I was very attracted to his, his spirituality of the Eucharist, Mary, and that evangelization spirit of going uh, preaching the gospel in urgent, timely, and effective ways, but not changing the message, but the method of evangelization. Saint Anthony Coret really, in a sense, started this whole idea of using media as a form of evangelization. He, he wrote 144 books, he wrote thousands of sermons, he printed them all out, passed them all out. That was the internet, that was the texting of the day. That was the, that was the, web, that was the webinars and all that kind of stuff. That was the YouTubes. And he would preach, pass out his sermons, because he knew that nobody would remember what he said. So it makes sense, because nobody listens to my homilies either. So. What I usually basically look when I talk to somebody discerning is, do you want religious life or do you want diocesan life? And if it's religious life, then you can be a priest or a brother. But if it's diocesan life, you can be a priest. So do you want community or non-community? Now there's some guys who work great alone. They don't want to be in community. They don't want the, they don't want the responsibility of being in a community. So that's the first question I ask them. And the second question is, who are you specifically as a person? So do you like working for the poor, working with the poor? Do you like science? Do you like teaching? Do you like doing missionary work? Do you want to have adventure? Or if you're going to be a diocesan priest, do you want to stay home for the rest of your life and just be in a little territory? What kind of person are you? So when you look at yourself, if you know yourself, what kind of, you know, even media, do you like doing that kind of stuff? And you've had, if you like all that stuff, outside of a parish life, then you have to know yourself really well if you're going to go to religious life. Because if you don't know yourself really well in religious life, if somebody just says, well, I'm just going to go to any order, that's just not going to work. It's really key that you know yourself really well. I'm here in Indianapolis, Indiana, for a national conference for Catholic youth and CYC. And here it's a way to celebrate our faith. There's like 30,000 youth and young adults. I find that it's really uplifting to see that many young Catholics in one place. I haven't seen that much since the World Youth Day. Greatest piece of advice I've ever heard regarding life. Become a saint. <laughs>